giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Mediacom News Leaders. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Carol Kelly. Joining us today from Mercy Medical Center, Dr. Cam Campbell. Welcome. Thank you very much. Perfect timing. February is Heart Month. Talk to us a little bit about um, the American Heart Association and, and what we're really trying to get the message out in February. Yeah. So February has been designated a Heart Month. It's been that for a number of years. There's really been some exciting things that have happened. We have really cut down the risk of dying from uh, heart and vascular stroke illnesses over the years. This is largely because of things that have been enacted through the American Heart Association and reduction in things such as cholesterol, blood pressure, some of the procedures that are available as well. So there's really been a tremendous effort to educate the public during this month and let them know about what's important from heart care standpoint. And can we talk about some of the ways that Mercy is trying to get portray that message and get that message out there? Yeah. So what we try to do is to talk about prevention. The only cure for coronary disease is prevention. So if we can do things with prevention, that's best. So we try to modify our risk factors. And we can't change who our parents are, so family history is family history. But we can lower cholesterol, we can lower blood pressure, we can treat diabetes, we can certainly not smoke, chew tobacco, which are major uh, important factors in developing heart disease. Also the foods that we eat and an exercise regimen are important as well. So let's talk about the signs and the symptoms of a heart attack. Yeah. Um, signs and symptoms for a heart attack, I'll tell you, I think us in the health profession lead patients astray. Heart pain is not a pain. So this, the words that people use to describe it are things such as pressure, ache, fullness, squeeze, heaviness or tightness. So it's not a pain per se, but it's usually those words, pressure, ache, fullness, squeeze, heaviness or tightness. It's also not one area. So it's not like over here, then over here, it's broad areas. Across the chest, up and down the chest, in the jaw, down the arm or in the back. So it's those types of symptoms that occur with exertion relieved by rest. That's the definition of angina or angina, however you want to say it. So that's what we're looking for. If it's associated with shortness of breath, of concern. If it's associated with sweating, of concern. So those are the symptoms that we look for. And so what do you recommend then? What steps should people take if they have these symptoms? If you really think you're having a heart attack and have those type of symptoms, they're not going away. So first of all, if you notice those symptoms and they go away and they've been progressive, you definitely need to see your physician and get in and get an evaluation. If those symptoms occur at rest or at night, you should definitely be thinking about going to the emergency room for an evaluation. If you're having those symptoms and they're unrelenting, 911 is what's recommended. We are very fortunate in the state of Iowa and in this community in particular to be able to deliver rapid care to patients wherever they may be and get them transported immediately to the hospital. One of the things we're very proud of at Mercy Medical Center is we are now approaching five years where every patient who's presented with a heart attack has had their artery open within 90 minutes, which is a national guideline. So 100% of the patients in the past almost five years have now had their arteries open within 90 minutes of, of uh, reaching our door front. And we had one just last week in the middle of a blizzard to be able to call in a crew, get things done, get the artery open. You know, in that case, I think it was 62 minutes the artery was open, which is a phenomenal achievement to the teamwork that's required to deliver this type of care. And let's talk about, uh, you talked a little bit about prevention really is the best case, but is there a cure at this point in time for heart disease? Again, no cure. We have treatments. So we have balloon stents, rotor rooters, if you will, <laughs> bypass surgery. Those are all treatments for coronary artery disease. But again, there is no cure per se. But we've done a tremendous job in improving morbidity and mortality from coronary disease. You know, it used to be congestive heart failure was considered a death sentence diagnosis for patients. And today, people are living much, much longer with diagnoses that they thought were never possible before. Let's talk about how easy it is to get a heart screening or maybe just check to see how things are going within, within people. Yeah. Certainly those patients who have any concerns, so even in your 20s, you should definitely know what your cholesterol values are. Uh, it's important to be, you know, as part of your annual examination to have blood pressure checked, diabetes screen, and, and lipid management done as well. There are other tests that can be done if you have strong family history, such as coronary artery calcium scores, that can be done as well. There are other screening uh, devices that are available just by checking through the Mercy Care website. And that website, we can go for more information. Sure. Mercycare.org backslash heart. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us, Doctor. Thank you. And thank you for watching. This has been Mediacom News Leaders, your opportunity to get the full story from the most reliable sources exclusively on Mediacom News Leaders.